first of all, just got a long awaited haircut. So <laughs> I know it's way shorter than uh, it usually is. And um, it's just more convenient for me. So I apologize for those of you who like my longer hair, but this is how it's going to be for a while. Um, anyway, today I want to talk to you about a kind of a little phenomenon that's been happening in the past couple of years, maybe 10 years in, in the, you know, in the marketing, uh, email marketing field, which is that when you sign up for an email newsletter, do you ever see the newsletter sender say, please go and check your inbox and put my email into your primary folder, not into the promotions or newsletter or bulk folder. Put it in the primary folder where your, all your important emails are. Have you ever seen that? And how do you feel about that? First of all, I'm really wondering if, if you have feelings about that. Because whenever I saw that, I'm like, wait, wait, a, wait a second. The newsletter sender, what you want me to do is to put your newsletters, the ones that you send to me and lots of other people, you want me to put that into my primary email inbox where my friends send me emails, my clients send me emails, my family members and other important senders. Do you want me to, to, to treat your newsletter as important as the emails from my clients and my friends and my family? Is that right? What... So do you want me to do that just for your newsletters and not for anybody else's newsletters? So, because you're so special, right? It's just, I know to me, it's always smacked of such selfishness, like such narrow thinking, or maybe it's because for a long time, I've been preaching the message of the golden rule in marketing, which is to do unto others, the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you want them doing to you right? Or uh, maybe another way of saying it, which I've talked about in the past, the Kantian imperative from, um, from, from the philosopher Kant. And the, it basically says, do the thing which if everyone else did would make the world a better place. So in other words, don't be selfish and say, well, I'm more special, so I should get to do certain things, you know, that are beneficial to me, but don't everybody do it because if everyone did it, the world would be worse. You know? So for, for example, if you put all the newsletters you subscribe to in your primary inbox along with the, with the emails from your clients, et cetera, it would just completely clutter up your email. And maybe some of you don't even have a primary inbox and a promotion folder or newsletter, and you should set that up immediately. You should set that up immediately. Go into your email inbox right now. Stop watching this, okay? Go into your email inbox and start marking the newsletters you get, including mine, not as spam, but as these should be filtered out into a separate folder that I will check when I have time. See, and, and of course, I know why marketers do that. They want, they, you know, we all, we marketers all think our messages are so important and you should open my email when I send it to you, you should open it right away and take action, just like I, I can I command you to take action, right? Which again is that same dynamic I, I wrote about uh, before, which is why, you know, I don't think we should be aspire to be anyone's guru, right? And the irony, of course, is I have this background that makes me look like I'm a guru or something, but I'm not. I just like this background today. <laughs> um, uh, so, so, it's, so in other words. As a, as a newsletter reader, as somebody like all of us are newsletter readers, you should automatically filter the newsletters you subscribe to into a separate folder so it doesn't clutter up the emails from your important people, your, your personal emails from clients, friends, et cetera. Okay, that's step number one. And then you should, once you clear your important emails, then go, when you have time, go look at the newsletters that you subscribe to and, you know, and enjoy anything, right? And step two, as a sender yourself, don't make that selfish choice of saying, you should put my emails, you should mark my emails as important, not everyone else's, just mine, because I'm so special, right? So, so in other words, I'm asking you to do the same to my emails. Put my emails into a separate folder that you only see occasionally, along with everyone else's newsletters that you subscribe to, okay? So that we should all be on a level playing field. And let me tell you, this is really the work, look, what is the work we're doing as newsletter writers? Let me tell you the work. It's, it's twofold, right? The first part of the work that we're doing is that 
we are trying to market, we are trying to write for people who are the right fit for us, the right fit for us. We're not trying to write for everybody. We're trying to write for our ideal audience, our ideal clients, right? I talk about the true fan idea all the time. We're, just, we're only trying to write for our true fans. So in other words, we, we want to write to people who are eager to read our emails. Yes. And, and if our emails go into the promotions folder or newsletter, they, sh they, they actually have, a, have this idea that, ooh, I want to go check out the promotions folder because I want to see George's emails or whatever it may be, right? I don't want to miss George's emails, whatever. So step one, as, as writers of newsletters, we want to market to the, to, the, to the ideal people, not to everybody, okay? So knowing that if we're marketing to the right people, they will be eager to read our, our newsletters. So step two, it's our job to write such good newsletters that they want to go and look for our emails. Just like, you know, when I check my newsletter folder sometimes, I'm looking for the few people that I am excited to read, the people that I feel like write emails that I feel cared, cared about, that are valuable to me, right? Not the ones that are always trying to sell me something or the ones that, you know, I don't know, uh, just don't, don't matter to me. I usually unsubscribe from those anyway. So I just, all I wanted to say in today's video is this is another example of the golden rule. It's just to do the marketing in a way that, that makes our audience feel cared for or rather don't make our audience feel like we're selfish because I know it's easy to be selfish, but if we realize that we just need our true fans and that these are people we want to care about anyway, that we do care about, then we don't need to be selfish. We can simply try to create a relationship that's more of a friendship. And how do we treat friends? We want our friends to be productive too. We want our friends not to have their email inbox cluttered by all this stuff, right? We wouldn't recommend that to our friends. We would recommend to our friends, yes, yeah, so you should put your, the newsletters into a separate folder. Why don't we treat our subscribers like we treat our friends? Because that's what they are. All right. I hope this is helpful. I'm George Cow, authentic business coach with the shortest hair uh, I've ever had. And um, thanks for joining me for this. I'm always open to your comments, uh, to your questions. And uh, I'm going to give you a chance to, to write your comments and questions below while I go and check out the comments, if there are any from my live viewers of this video. So Give me a moment and I'll give you a moment to, to add any comments you'd like. Okay, so, um, yes, and thank you, Lure, for joining me. Um, and, and Hanny as well, thank you so much. Yeah, all right, well, um, thanks for joining me and hopefully this will help you as a reader to make things more efficient by filtering the emails into a separate place and as a sender, to just realize that we just want to show caring to our subscribers and they will look forward to our emails. All right, be well, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.